Thank you. Low connection right now. We're going to cancel and start again. Uh, oh, it's still happening. This is good. Good morning, everybody. It's Victoria Laurent Fabish, holistic psychotherapist, registered psychotherapist, and I'm here with the incomparable Sharon Warren, who's a transformational life coach and facilitates really awesome uh, quantum technology and brings in programs so that people can really transform their lives. And I adore this woman and I'm Thank so you. glad you're here. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, Thank you. It's totally my pleasure. Um, <clears throat> we'll wait for some people to come on, but regardless, I just want to start to, um, to talk to you about, you know, number one, the amazing work that you do, which is incredibly, um, shall we say, and I'm pretty woo-woo. <laughs> You know, I'm pretty woo-woo. You know, I'm a holistic psychotherapist. I'm a Reiki master. And I'm, you know, I do energy work and talk therapy. So I merge East meets West right. in many ways. Which I love. Yeah. yeah. And you've experienced my work. And I love working with Victoria. She's Thank amazing. You. And I love you working are. with you, Sharon. You're pretty amazing. And this is not BS, let me tell you. We're not bullshitting. <laughs> We're sounding like we have a schmooze fest going yeah. on right now. <laughs> but it's actual true. I really, I pick people to be here that I really, really admire and, and, and want to uh, share with the world. And so the work that you do is kind of interesting because you are <clears throat> very grounded, I find, in, you know, sort of the here and the now, uh, a lot of, you know, great life coaching. But then you bring in a tool that I find really interesting, which is toning. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and, and we're talking about living by design. So what do you mean by that? What do you mean by living by design? Right. Doesn't everybody want to know? What does it mean to live by design? design. Right. Well, I think most of us have been conditioned uh, or trained to be condition-based thinkers. Right. Right? So that circumstances or conditions dictate what we can do and be and have in this world. Right? What would we love? Right. And, and the reality is every one of us that's breathing, life is breathing through us. And life by its very nature seeks to create. So if we have life breathing through us, it's seeking to create through mm. us. And so I think of, um, we don't get to not create. So for example, I don't know, you're, you're overwhelmed and you stay in bed with the covers over your head. <laughs> Sometimes I want to do that. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. And, and the thing is, you're still creating. You're creating a life <clears throat> in the day with the covers over your head. Right. So the question is, do you want to create by default because that's really by default living yeah it's like oh it's too much I just want to yeah. check out of the world yeah and also giving power to circumstances so you know what Ooh. does our bank what does our bank account say we can do what does our weight say we can do um, what does our education say we can do as opposed to understanding we live in an inside-out universe and that yeah when you go in and you really create a vision and you trust that you can co-create with the universe the universe is listening all the, all the time the universe is listening and so when we mm -hmm. when we have that vision and we have that emotional vibration and we give energy to that the universe the molecules of the universe go into process to bring that about wow so but so in real life what does that look like so we um, we experience um, well, people say, you know, oh, it's flu season, it's flu season, oh gosh, uh, I'm going to get the flu. I see what you're saying. And the universe hears that and goes, oh, okay, like, it has no sense of humor. If I plant, yeah. if I plant a seed in a garden, if I plant a radish seed, and I expect a cucumber, and I'm like, oh, I don't want a radish seed, well, then don't plant a radish seed. Okay, so it's really, <laughs> it's really being very intentional with your thoughts, mm -hmm. intentional with your words, with your, intentional with your intentions, Be, picking and choosing what you are putting into the universe, putting into the world, because the universe, as you say, doesn't know from jokes. No. <laughs> it just simply mirrors back to you what you put. And there, you, you can see that there's some randomness, too. Mm -hmm. Is that, you know, that it's not just, I believe that we are, that the universe is a mirror, but there's randomness, too. There's stuff that we're not even mirroring, but there's other stuff going on. What do you think about that? Well, that's that's a good point. I do agree that the, wor the world, the universe is very complex. <clears throat> um, but actually, that leads me into another yeah. tool that I use. Yeah. So I've been studying with the Life Mastery Institute in California, and I take ah. people through um, very rich content rich programs. And these programs um, are designed to, there's a language, right? There's a language to success. Mm. And, and the language to creating the results you would love. Um, there's a pattern and a system. 
and and uh, uh, once we understand consciously, we're aware of what this pattern or system is, we can apply it in any area of our, any area of our life that we want to improve. Okay. Right. So an electrician, right? He doesn't wish and and hope for electricity to come on. Right. He understands the laws of electricity. And, and once he understands those laws of electricity, he can then use that to get the results he would okay. love. And so there's the laws of thinking. There's the laws of receiving. Right. There's the law of abundance. There really is a system in place. And that I, we need to tap into. Right. Okay. Right. And so I take people through like 12-week programs or six-month programs, and it's a step-by-step -step process to rewire and reframe yeah. you know, our past habitual thinkings. Yeah, and it's really my, my passion or my my purpose and my reason for being is to make sure that we don't um, perpetuate multi-generational dysfunction, <laughs> multi-generational patterns. Hi, Eduardo. And so as a result, uh, there are many methodologies to, to, to get that. And, um, you know, and rewiring takes a lot of work. I, I talk about change you know, is awareness, but awareness alone can do nothing. Mm -hmm. but awareness is important. Mm -hmm. It's a beginning step, right? Yeah, it's a step. But you need courage to want to have really change, and then willingness, willingness, mm -hmm. and then the most important one is repeat, 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 repeat. But this is, um, it seems to me that when I think about uh, the work that you do, it almost facilitates a little bit more of a streamlined process toward the change. Mm -hmm. Yes. Would, would you, what do you think about that? Yes, yes, it's a, it's a very... It's like a vehicle or a tool to facilitate it in a little faster way or in a little um, more efficient way. Yeah, I thank you. That's well put. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a very elegant system. Yeah. Uh, that, that has... Is, the roots of it are 40, 50 years worth of studies of successful people. And they're studying which? The language of success. They're studying... Okay. What what are the tools? What are the thinking? Okay. What are the habits? What are the um, there's a lot of I see yeah. okay the, the the habits and and tool uh, and and patterns of successful people, mm -hmm. but the methodology that you work with toning oh, uh, yes. toning <laughs> tone. So that was the life coaching aspect of your work. Is that right? But it sounds like you also bring in toning yes into which is the quantum physics right. piece, which might be considered. A little woo-woo. A little woo-woo. So this very grounded uh, life coaching, success coaching uh, work that Sharon Warren does, mm -hmm. which I love. Right. But then you have um, these tools. These tools, which I would say, they seem like magic initially upon mm -hmm. upon initial sight of it. But they're not magic. There are a uh, hi Maureen. Nice, nice that you're here. Hi Eduardo. Um, they're not magic, but they're working with vibration. Mm -hmm. it, essentially, mm -hmm. to re we, we are all vibration. Mm -hmm. We are all vibratory beings. If I were to hook up a, a megahertz vibration tester to Sharon or to myself, depending on what we were thinking, that megahertz vibration would change. Be Z <laughs> yeah, it would change. The the the, the, the actual number of megahertz, the number reading would change based on what we were thinking. Mm -hmm. That's that's science. That's not woo woo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when we rewire our thoughts we change our megahertz vibration mm -hmm. but it but the key is to understand what our subconscious thoughts are mm -hmm. is that right mm -hmm. I, I think again well put well said. oh thank goodness <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness i don't want to but i want you to tell tell us that you know yeah so um so one of the tools within the quantum technologies that i use we capture a sample of your voice it's like a which you need to speak a little louder a tiny bit oh thank you okay thank <laughs> yeah. you um, speak on sound. Speak on sound, <laughs> exactly. So you capture... Yeah, yeah we, okay. speaking of the voice, how ironic of the timing. Exactly. <laughs> you, ca yeah, you, it. you capture a sample of your voice. It's about a 15-second sample of your voice. Um, because I'm not sure if everyone's aware, but your voice is more specific of a blueprint to who you are than your, uh. than your fingerprints, right? Than your DNA. And when you think about it, your voice is vibratory. Right? So in there, you can get your mental body, your physical body, your auric body, your, your causal body, your emotional body. You get the different All bodies. from the voice. Yeah, because it's vibration, and we are vibration. So amazing. Right, so we 
Good morning, Fabio. Thank you for joining us. All the way from Brazil, may I add. Yes. <laughs> Keep going. So your voice... You capture a sample of your the voice. The blueprint has the blueprint of your energy mm -hmm. in it. Interesting. So you capture a sample of your voice and then... Yep. So we put it through a sophisticated mathematical algorithm and it analyzes it. So it analyzes... It takes it to your computer, right? You yeah, put it through yeah. your computer, yes. Yep. It analyzes it. A program. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the program analyzes it, and it will give an output of your personal tones, your personal frequencies, based on your wow. voice sample. And it's about 25 minutes long. And the beauty of these frequencies is they balance the left-right hemisphere of your brain. <sighs> they create cancellation fields to release cellular traumas in your different bodies that, you know, maybe we're not even consciously or cognitively aware of why we have a certain predisposition or a pattern or a limitation, a limitation of thinking, for example, or phobia that's tripping us up, that's blocking us from actualizing oh, our true wow. potential. Yeah. And so the beauty of these frequencies is they go in very gently and they help, or sometimes not, depends, <laughs> they help to release. And I love this analogy, if I may. Yeah. Okay, so think of a garden, right? Whether your favorite flower or your favorite vegetables but let's say you've just moved in there and there's flowers in there that don't really resonate with you or there's weeds i like to think of the tones as going in there and weeding out Ooh, right wow. to make space for what you would love weeding out what weeding out past um, traumas mm -hmm. whether it's you know if you understand this seven generations back we're bringing in genetic content oh, yes right predispositions so they will actually it's quantum so it'll work on those generational patterns that aren't serving you yeah. that just as we inherit our eye color we inherit other patterns as well so it it weeds that out it weeds maybe something happened when you're five right it will help to release those cellular traumas right. um it's past lives. <laughs> Yeah, it works with that yeah. too. I've I've experienced it. I've observed it, but as we know, nature abhors a vacuum. Nature abhors a vacuum. So whenever there's a void, get ready. That's where I love my programs yeah. because the programs are in there now, helping you systematically plant the seeds you would love in a way that works. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And can you give me an example or us? few of us are watching, a few lovely people are watching, thank you for joining us. What, um, how does it fill the vacuum? Give me some, some key tools that you might offer the audience. Okay. What's yeah. a key transformational success tool right. that you would fill the vacuum with? So for, thank you. So for example, um, I love your questions by the way. Oh good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Helps me be more succinct. Yeah. Um, so for example, in one of the programs, the 12-week program, and um, one of the, the, the foundational programs I take people through, there's a module on um, reframing, reframing failure from a stumbling block to a stepping stone. So it's a relationship to failure, right? It's not yeah. failure in and of itself that will trip us up. So Thomas Edison, for example, was asked, oh my goodness, you know, I understand it took you 10,000, I'm paraphrasing, it took you 10,000 uh, failures to come up with the incandescent light bulb. And he said, I had no failures. It was all feedback. Right. right? And a lot of things, a lot of people don't know that Babe Ruth, the year he hit the most home runs, and how many years later, and we're still, I'm still talking about Babe Ruth, is the year he also hit the most strikeouts. So, is that right? Yes. Wow. So there's this whole system to developing a different relationship to failure. Developing a different relationship to failure. How incredibly useful is that? It's and, you know, useful. we're both Aries. <laughs> we, we bond on our Aries nature, <laughs> our Aries being. But I think that, you know, um, uh, one thing that, that I know as, as a proud Aries is that is, is that, you know, we like to be directional about, you know, just mm -hmm. moving forward into our goals and all this stuff. But coping with failure can be extraordinarily... Debilitating. Know, debil can be debilitating, really tough on the, on the good old ego that we're working to banish. <laughs> but, uh, or to at least, you know, calm the egoic, you know, uh, being. And so this, uh, and I've experienced some of this work, 
this really helps to allow for experimentation yes. to be the yes. main uh, impetus or the main intention, not success, which success comes mm -hmm. when you, I believe, stop seeing your implementation as a bad, as a, you know, your experimentation as a, as a, as a cumbersome thing. You know, see you're experimenting, see you're trying as you are successful because you're trying. Yeah. It's sitting in the sitting in the dark with your covers on top of your head where, well, I don't even see that as a failure of any kind, but it's still just a choice to not engage. It's a learning. <laughs> it's a type of learning that is like, I'm just tapping out for a while, which we're, we're, we're by the way, entitled to. Yeah. Yeah. We are entitled to tap out for a while. But <clears throat> I believe that, you know, we want to meet, we want to work on confidence issues. Mm -hmm. We want to work on self-doubt issues well, what's your thought I, I on think, that i think to your point victoria when we have a stumble when we have a failure um that you again reframe it as it's, it's an opportunity for growth what's the golden nugget yeah right what can i learn That's what, what it can is. i take away and if if you are getting like with thomas edison it was feedback it's like oh not this way but this way yeah right try it a different way don't condemn yourself for your trials right? don't condemn yourself and we all have them. And it's the courageous people, the spiritual warriors that actually engage in try, try, and try. And I want to just encourage people to keep trying. It's hard. It can be a little tough. But that doesn't mean you stop. You keep moving. You keep trying. You, you, you lick your wounds. You calm yourself. You love yourself. You meditate. You do a little journaling. I got my journal right here. I was journaling at 5 30, 6 o'clock in the morning Good today. For you. Yeah. <laughs> I went back to bed for an hour. <laughs> but I got up and then, you know, had to work my work my stuff out in my journal and then <sighs> came out to the other side. Beautiful. And and well, this there's a prayer for discernment in in that module too. Uh -huh. What is it? It's um Do you remember it? Yeah. On the spot <laughs> I put her. <laughs> Good morning, Janine. It's um, you know, to go in and ask for discernment. Right? So really ask for discernment. If So if, I love that word discernment, which is choosing, deciding, right? Mm, yes. Yeah. Not judging, discernment. Yeah. And and asking, you know, ask allowing your infinite Actually, to, can we just stop? Yeah. Sorry, don't mean no. to touch your breast. No. <laughs> <laughs> can everybody who's on right now with us just close your eyes because Sharon's gonna take us through an impromptu prayer for discernment is that okay yeah. okay so um actually i'm gonna get a little music or no no music mm, if you like if yeah. you like okay yeah. so we'll, we'll pull up my itunes add a little ambiance oh yes well i have a, a really cool uh meditation uh cd uh called as above so below mm -hmm. and just as as we're as i'm pulling the itunes up everybody sort of get comfortable maybe get a glass of water maybe just allow yourself to just be um in, in a state of let's see if we can get this quickly no we can't i don't know what the problem oh that's why it's don't download <laughs> so oh you know what i need to sign in so i'm not going to do this we're going to do no music not meant to be let's have you just come on to lovely sharing okay. we'll just have silence behind us <sighs> okay. take a nice deep breath just as victoria did thank you and feel the beautiful infinite energy there supporting you coming in through your crown chakra. Feel the beautiful energy coming in from the infinite supporting you coming through your crown chakra. Ah, yes. Spreading through your eye chakra. Expanding your throat chakra. Give voice. Give voice to your callings. Give voice to your longings. Step into it. Allow that beautiful breath and energy to move through your solar plexus, vibrate through your root chakra, out through your legs, and feel your feet, the soles of your feet on the ground, the earth supporting you, that ball of magnetic energy in the center, gravity. You don't have to push your way through, you can just allow it to be and feel supported. And lean into something you would love, an area you would love, and maybe you've tried that. You've, you've followed your, your calling, you've followed your longing, and you didn't receive the results that you would love. So feel into that, lean into that, and ask, ask the infinite. Ask yourself, your higher self, 
if this action step, if this calling, if if the steps and the action steps you took, if you're feeling blocked in it, if it's for your higher calling for good for you, for others, for the collective, increase my passion for this. Increase my passion. Oh, I love that. If it's not, if it, if it actually is a block because it's meant to be a different way, it's a different road, then give me the discernment to know which direction to go in and the discernment to let it go without seeing it as a failure, just seeing it as feedback. That's okay, it's feedback. Give yourself permission to play in the sandbox, to get curious and try it a different way. Just take a nice deep breath. And just be still with that. And you can say this before bed and sleep on it and see what comes to you through your dreams in the morning. You can open your eyes when you're ready. That was amazing. It's like a, dis it's a, it's a discernment visualization meditation. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? Yes. And just getting, listening to that still small voice. And I really believe that our infinite when we go to that place, can connect with infinite intelligence. And infinite intelligence has infinite possibilities. That's right. Which leads me to another key, yeah. which is the power of the question. Right? So if I ask, why am I stupid? The universe will give me many reasons, right? Right? Or why am I never, um, why am I a certain weight? Why am I not paying my bills on time? The question, you want to calibrate the question. Again, the universe is listening more than we realize. The question yeah. is, how can I generate $1,000 more this month than I did last month, uh -huh. for example? Right. So getting specific on the question, I really, really love the increase my passion. If this is a stumble mm -hmm. and yet I am on the right path, then increase my passion. I just want to really echo that, how powerful that is. So in other words, if it's a stumble, it doesn't mean you're on the wrong path. It just means you need to troubleshoot it a bit with the universe, yeah. work with it a little bit, and say, okay, universe, phone, phone call. <laughs> and, decline. <laughs> and sorry about that. I didn't shut off all my notification. It's not a perfect, it's never a perfect broadcast, An sweetheart. Imperfect, imperfect action step. That's yeah. what we invite people to do. Yeah. It's not a perfect, it's not a perfect moment, but it's okay. <laughs> but what I will say is to increase one's passion for whatever step you're on. I think it's just so like a light bulb moment, aha moment, wow moment for me. Awesome. Like, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. You know, because we are often given, well, you know, you know, the path of least resistance, which I really try and go down the path of least resistance, the, the downstream path. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I need to go somewhere where my intuition says, which isn't so downstream. And I might stumble, but I still feel intuitively that I need to be on that road. Mm -hmm. So the universe, I yeah, I feel drawn there. So it's not downstream. It's kind of hard, mm -hmm. but I'm drawn there. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, but does that mean what? So what I'm loving is this dialogue with the universe to say, increase my passion, please. Right. Well, imagine if it's right. Imagine if, if Edison, going back to Edison. Edison, yes. If he gave up at the 9,999th time, we might be sitting with candlelight right yeah. now, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But look at all of the great <laughs> thinkers and inventors. I love candles, but I, I want my electricity. <laughs> right. And the Wright brothers. So there's a process. Yeah. yeah. There's a process. We, we look often at the Babe Ruths and go, wow, right? But we don't understand and appreciate the process. And then we don't give ourselves permission yeah. to have the process and understand that there's there's a, there's a there's the law of thinking. There's a there's a wiring, a system yes. that goes into place, and it's one foot in front of the other, engaging with these invisible laws that govern us. I love this. I love this. <laughs> Say that last little bit. In, there are these invisible laws that govern us. Yes. Just okay. honestly, there really is. I believe. There's that. just as there's electricity and and gravity. Yeah. Like I don't have to stand on my head. I had this aha moment when I was going through the law of supply myself. Yeah. Oh, I don't have to stand on my head. Not that I'm discrediting it, but I don't have to look in the mirror and say I love myself 20 times. And those things, those are great tools. Yeah. But the aha moment, the golden nugget for me was in order for me to engage gravity, I don't need to 
work on self-esteem on such a great level like don't it, we just are uh-huh. it just is. we are love yeah. tap into that part of yourself yes. it's already there yeah it's already there yes. um so a couple tools we're going to start our wrap up and i want to see how people will find you but the tools of the you know engaging with the laws of the universe the law of attraction mm-hmm. what other laws the law of supply what thinking. other law, the law of thinking abundance. law of abundance forgiveness there's law, a law to yeah. forgiveness yeah. Yeah. yeah what's the law of forgiveness that's a whole. That's it's a whole huge. system. Yes. Any nuggets to just share quickly? What's the well, big it's, one? it's reframing, right? It's, there you go. It's yeah. forgiving. It's giving for another perception. Yes. And honest, ah, and well, that is your nugget. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's giving for another to get another perception. That's yes. the law of forgiving. Yes, that is that is an aspect. Yes. I like to give my viewers Thank the you. real deal. Thank you. Not <laughs> just not just talking not about just our bluff. You know, not just our courses that we want. It's no. I want you actually to leave with good tools. Well, you know? if I may then. Yeah. yeah. So again, in, in the area of forgiveness is, is when we look at, say, say I had an experience with my mother, right? And it yeah. was hurtful and yeah. maybe it, it created a wound or I, I felt I like to joke, if that. it's not one thing, it's a mother. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. We love mothers. <laughs> we do love mothers. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's um, a hard job. It is. Um, but, but for example, it's, it's to reframe, right, to give for another perception so that maybe in that moment when my mom was um, inadvertently, uh, her actions created a wound in me, yeah. it, it could be that it was an unskilled call for love oh. or an unskilled expression of love. From? From my mom. From your mother. It's not yes. like she said, why, I'm going to wound her, right? Right. She didn't intentionally wound no, you, but she was an unskilled lover. Yes. An unskilled person that loved. Yes, yeah, and, and how know. many, myself and she, included. Right, exactly. And she had her own wounds that she was transmitting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so compassion and the law of forgiveness is to really, really um, yeah. go for a different perspective. And engage. On the situation. Yeah, engage yeah. in that, yeah. Amazing, amazing. I think that this is so powerful. Uh, Sharon, I'm so glad you, you came to, to this beautiful moment to help you know us all. And number one, how can people find you? What's the most? What's the easiest way to, for people to find you? Right, you can email me at Sharon at toneyoursoul.ca. What's your website? Toneyoursoul.ca. Did everyone get that? Write that down. Toneyoursoul.ca. Well, I liked it when I came up with it because I think we tone our body. Yeah. But how many of us tone, tone our, our soul? soul. Yeah. Plus, I work with tones, so I thought it was fun. <laughs> I think it's a fun one. Yeah, and, and also you facilitate a number of programs. I do. Yes. Um, this winter, I've been doing self-care Sundays, 1.30 to 3.30, uh, where we gather in a group. We capture the sample of the group's voice sample, uh-huh. run it through the software. It's powerful. You know what? I'm going to tell you right now. I have to tell you, when I first did it, I was like, what the heck is this? I love sounding and toning and singing, using my voice, all this great stuff. But this is a different kind of, this is a different kind of cat. It is. And we run it through, we run the frequencies through instruments called iCubes. That's a whole other conversation. They're beautiful instruments, again, for transformation, for acceleration. Coming out to a group is a great way to experience them. Dip your toe in the water. Well, that's what I did. I went to a group. Um, the fun story about Sharon and I is that her partner went to high school with me, which is just one. And knows Lisa from yesterday's show. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, what I'm, what I'm hearing is come to a group to try it. And it's just such a gentle environment. It's in Toronto. So contact Sharon, go to toneyoursoul.ca. And is there anything? I can do remote tones too. So Brazil. Um, okay. I can do a remote, send me an email, and I'm actually just about to put a, a little video on my web page, on my website under Tones, yeah. just taking people through step-by-step process of how to do a remote. It's very easy. How can they find you on social media? Mm-hmm. Uh, Tone Your Soul for Facebook. I'm on LinkedIn, Tone okay. Your Soul. Great. Tone Your Soul. It's oh, all tone one. Your soul. And is there anything specific you want to leave the audience with um, mm-hmm. in terms of what you're offering? Right. Or is or have we done what you want to talk well, about? I mean, come out to see me at a group. I yeah. do private sessions with quantum uh, sound okay, sessions. Good. I do evocative coaching in those. I do Reiki. Awesome. I use essential oils. Awesome. Um, so I, I do a myriad. If people are interested yeah. in the quantum aspect, great. If you're interested in the programs, great. But I will uh, merge the quantum in with the programs because I find it accelerates. So there's myriad. So before we go, Fabio's asking any, how about reframing guilt? 
Uh, so many people have a hard time dealing with it. Any tips? Do you have a, do you, I, I want you to, yeah. to, to troubleshoot that for a moment. Yes. Guilt as a way to reframe it. Yes, that's a very good question. So again, with forgiveness, and mm. I, there's a whole process to take people through. There's um, different forgiveness prayers to take yourself through to forgive yourself. Right? So start with self-forgiveness. Right, and understand that, that your action was unskilled. Maybe. Perhaps. Because there's a lot of people having guilt for no reason. That's true. That's you know, true. so really, I really believe troubleshoot yourself and find out what happened. Did you, did you, did you, did you, you know, transgress? Did you make a mistake? Did you harm someone inadvertently? Okay, do that work. The tones are also good for that as well. Because sometimes mm. we're not cognitively aware, but the beauty of the tones is you don't need to be. They will, they will work on a very deep level to release said guilt right. that we're hanging on to, whether we're aware so of it or not. it's a tool. It's a tool to use that. The tones will do that. And from a life coaching and psychotherapy perspective, one of the things that I talk about in terms of neutralizing guilt is know your value system. Know what's important and right to you. So you may have hurt someone inadvertently, but obviously not intentionally. And in that play, in that case, that you know that that happens, and there's maybe an apology or whatever it may be. But don't as I really ask people. Don't ascribe the word guilt to just anything. Mm. If you've done something wrong, use the word guilt. I feel guilty about that. I'm sorry I did that. But if you've just in some way stood your ground, but that other person was offended, hurt, don't use the word guilt there. You might say, I feel sad mm. because that other person was hurt and I really didn't want that to happen. But I, I find people need to really work on troubleshooting, not just using the word, I feel guilty. Try to go beyond, I feel guilty, and understand what actually the experience was. And then, of course, there's these great tones that you can, unbelievable tools to, 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 to very efficiently rewire that <laughs> autopilot feeling of guiltiness that shows up so ran rampantly in people's beings. And um, uh, reframe the word guilt. Use the word regret instead. Use the word, I feel sad that but use only the word guilt for very specific things, like you did something actually wrong, mm -hmm. you know, like you punched someone, <laughs> God forbid, or you, you know, you, I'm sorry about that. You did, you know, this is, this is the kind of stuff that I want people to do. Don't just automatically experience that guilt. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, beautiful, <laughs> thank you. Tell me uh, one last thing that you want to leave everyone with that you would that you would say at the end of a group because we're ending the group mm -hmm. now we're ending right. our group experience so just really notice what you're noticing this week notice where you're putting your energy <sighs> where's your thoughts where your energies because the art really is in the visioning the science is in your emotional vibration what you're putting out there so if if for example the art is in the visioning is that mm -hmm. what you said Keep going. Yeah. Love it. So, for example, if if you're, you know, would love a, a week where your relationships are rich, right, and they're um, satisfying and, and life-giving, then don't put your focus on the lack. <laughs> yeah. Right? I don't have that. Yeah. Put right. your focus in on right. what you want to create. And lean into where, where the lack is. So, for example, if oh. you are feeling disconnected with, with some family members, send a card. Send an email. So don't wait. Lean into it and give. And sometimes send love. Exactly. Just psychically through the airwaves. If you don't want to do a card, yeah. a card is great. But sometimes like, I'm not sending a card. But then just, just engage in sending love. Mm -hmm. That works so profoundly, I want to say. Yeah. Okay. So notice where your energy is. And notice your thoughts. Thank you so much for joining me, Thank lovely you. Sharon. Thank you. How was this for you? Ah. It was great. Thank you. Yeah. You're an amazing host. Oh, and, thank you and so much. I really want to thank you for um, giving me a voice, a platform yeah. to share. And we'll have you back. We'll have Sharon back. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be maybe, maybe more specific. We'll work with how to work with difficult emotions mm -hmm. or something. So um, thank, thank you. you again for joining us and for being here. Uh, you can find me on visualizationworks.com, my website, where you can find my programs, my books you know about my books find yourself culture and connecting rewire your relationship culture and you can find me on my group join my group positive self culture uh, positive self culture relationship culture family culture and on LinkedIn and also if you're finding me on YouTube subscribe to my channel it's ask Victoria I will be sharing this video widely but please 
you share it with your people too because sharing is caring and uh, Sharon is caring and <laughs> sharing is caring and I just want to wish everyone a brilliant gorgeous day I love you big hugs talk soon I'll come at you tomorrow with another juicy topic bye for now <laughs>